Okay, we're going to solve this one. This one has the logs already provided for us on the same side of the equation, so we don't need to bring anything over. We're ready now to combine this together into a single log. So again, if you have two logs with a plus sign in between, that means that you're going to use rule six that turns into a multiplication. So both we're going to use the same base here, log two. We have x plus 11, and then that's going to be times x plus seven. That equals five. You're taking the base, raise the number after the equal sign is going to equal all of this. So I have two raised to the fifth power. That's going to equal x plus 11, x plus 7. Okay, we need to compute this. Make sure you don't do it fast, and sometimes if we do it too fast, then we get a 10 there instead. It's not 10, it's 2 raised to the fifth power. That's 32. We know that we're not allowed to take each one of these individually and set them equal to 32. We have to have a zero on that side in order to do that. So I need to multiply this out, subtract the 32 from both sides, set it equal to zero, and then factor it and get our answer. So I have 32 is going to equal x squared. I get uh, 7x and 11x is 18x plus 77. Now I want to subtract the 32 from both sides. Zero you get there. This is x, 18x, uh, plus 45. So x squared plus 18x plus 77 minus 32 from both sides. You get 18x plus 45 as a result. Now we want to factor that. Okay, so if we factor this one, we're looking for factors of 45, numbers that multiply to make 45 and add to be 18. The numbers that work here are going to be 3 and 15. 3 times 15 is 45. Add it together, you get 18. Both of these are going to be plus. You're going to set both of them equal to 0. So if you do that, you get x is equal to negative 3, and you're also going to get x is equal to negative 15. Now both of these, we have to check into the original one, not this one, the original one, just to make sure we don't get any domain problems. Negative 3 will go into that first one. Negative 3 plus 11, that's okay, that's a positive number. Negative 3 plus 7, also a positive number, so there we go, that's one of our answers. We know for sure that x equals negative 3, that's okay. We gotta check the second one as well. Negative 15 plus 11, that gives us a negative number. In fact, we would even get a negative number if we put it into this one. So if even one of them gives you a negative inside the log. So again, negative, we did negative 15 plus 11. That gave us a negative result. That number is not allowed because it makes a negative inside the log. And we know that logarithms, you can only use uh, positive numbers in there and zero is not allowed either. So because of that, we're crossing out negative 15. This one only has one answer. That answer is going to be x equals negative 3.